Ooh, this is nice. $65 book. Whew, dang. What is this? Oh, someone's military stuff. What's this? Lockheed Advanced Development Company. Lockheed Private Data to be opened by address C only. Oh, hang on now. These are real photographs. That is so stinking cool. That's a stealth fighter patch. Wow. Jetta Tanker Task Force Desert Shield 1990. That is really, really interesting. Man, there's a lot of Elvis here. A lot, a lot of Elvis. <laughs> a dusty abandoned storage locker full of collectibles covered in dust and spider webs. A man on a quest for adventure buys it at an online auction for $1,815, hoping to find treasure. What comes next? Stay tuned right here on Locker Nuts. All right, Locker Nuts, are you ready? Are you ready to get into this van? What you see here is all the stuff from that Hummel collector. I'm excited to get in here. We grabbed this one, bought it, grabbed it, loaded it up right before I left town for a few days. So we went up to the mountains and it's been sitting here. It's been sitting just waiting for us and I'm so excited. Full disclosure, I did pull some stuff out the back here. We came back Monday, Tuesday morning, garbage pickup. I know I had a lot of paperwork uh, in boxes in the back right here, some of the last stuff I loaded. So that went right in the recycle and off it went. So we lightened our load a little little bit mm -mm -mm. I'm excited you guys ready let's get to doing some unboxing All right, guys, I got my chest harness on, and we're gonna start digging. So these two items here were right inside the door, uh, right inside, we didn't really look at them too close, but this is Kodak right here, made in Germany. All right, um, okay, I was thinking camera stuff, but now I see it's a slide projector. Kodak carousel. We found uh, some carousels, a lot of carousels in one of those lockers not too long ago. Oh, this is neat right here. Souvenir slides, Republica S. Marino. What is that? Oh, that's neat. Okay, some uh, tourist slides. It's all the famous tourist sites, I guess. I actually like this find better than the carousel, the, uh, the projector rather, because these are a little bit harder to sell. Kodak Carousel S. I'll actually look it up and see if this got some value. The past ones I found didn't really have that much. Republica D. S. Marino. More, more of the same, okay? And there's all the cords and stuff. All right, that's a neat find, but I think that might be headed for the flea market, but we'll look up value first. This we'll save for an auction. There might be a little bit of value there. All right, next up is this. Oh, okay, I was thinking cassettes. I actually was thinking cassettes, and we've got uh, CDs, and that's much better. John Anderson, Greatest Hits. Take a look at that. Oh, nice, okay. Good condition. Here's a Garth Brooks, brand new, sealed. Beyond the Season, very good. Johnny Cash, Perry Como, Ray Conniff, Ray Conniff. Classic Crooners, Very Best of Neil Diamond, Percy Faith. Here's a double album of Neil Diamond, the movie album. That's probably decent. Yanni, ooh, Elvis Presley. We got some good stuff in here. Hey, let's dust that off and get that into auction. That's a good little find right there. One nice thing about unboxing at home, besides the fact there's usually gardeners or barking dogs in the background, which is kind of annoying, is that I have all my stuff here. So I have, uh, you know, things like access to this, a nice brush that I also, of course, found in a storage locker. Okay, that's a pretty good start, I think. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Okay, this is books. Books, 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 books. Oh, wait, wait. Is this cookbooks, though? Yes, cookbooks. Spine's a little shot. Bienville Paris. Parish is really cooking. All right, like a church cookbook or something. Oh, this is actually pretty neat. America's Best Recipes? Yeah, okay. I don't know. Is there value in these? I don't really know. 1989 Hometown Collection. Okay, okay. 
Now cookbook might be a little bit better than just like regular books. Sunset Recipe, Southern Living, Best of Sunset, Pillsbury Cookbook, McCall's Best Recipe, Blue Book, How to Make Your Own Mixes, Make a Mix Cookery. Yeah, this is pretty decent. What do you guys think? Is this stuff something that should go into our live auction? You know, we're looking for the best best stuff that we find to put into the live auction. Those we do on our YouTube channel every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific. But we also do pop-ups midweek time to time. That looks good. I think I'm hungry. Oh, I'm on a diet. I'm always hungry. That's right. <laughs> okay, food digest. What's this? When families made memories together. Family camped in a canoe. It's talking about what family traditions or something grandpa taught boy the value of work sharpening an axe there on the grinder Yeah, this is neat stuff. Okay. I don't know. I don't know about value on that, but it's neat more cookbooks Okay, so yeah, maybe we'll go through these cookbooks a little bit closer off camera Try to pick out only the best ones and lot those up and see how they do in a, in a live auction All right, that one says records. That's good Let's see what this is right here as I mentioned in the last video, they didn't tape the bottom. See that? The, the bottoms are just done the little flip over and then they put them full of books. That to me is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Because look at that. That's not proper at all. Okay. All right. Is this cookbooks again? Yes. More cookbooks. Southern Living. This is nice stuff, actually. Look at the books are in like perfect condition. Perfect, perfect, perfect. What do you think? I think more auction stuff. Yes. Dieter's cookbook and yeah, that looks actually pretty good a little walk this way low-fat cookbook the book of tomatoes soup oh the William snowman that's good stuff see now that one got kind of smashed up that's what sucks about using a box it's not good and that was a nice looking book too soup soup like the soup Nazi no chemicals for you King Arthur flower cookie companion what <laughs> all cookies <laughs> Okay, oh, and then I, I did pull a couple of these books out from the paperwork that I recycled uh, because these are nice books, Billy Graham and Charles Swindle. I'm going to put those aside and bring them to our son's church and just see if he wants them. I'm sure he's probably read both of those, but maybe you know somebody who he can give those to. Those are keepers, I think. Let's see, here's a box that says Beverly Spiritual Dash Other. What we got, what we got, what we got, more books, more books. Okay, a lot of religious books. This feels like a Bible, maybe. Yep, parallel Bible. Okay. All right, this stuff will probably go to either donation or flea market uh, because I don't think those are live auction worthy, not good enough. I really prefer just to donate it. I don't like dealing in heavy stuff like that. There's not a lot of money here at the market, maybe five to 10 bucks, literally. So th this is a heavy box. I like to avoid the heavy loads when I can, such as glassware I like to donate. Next box. Bev's cookbooks, I think we know what this is. That's this, resources and leaders guide. Uh, blank pages for the blank these are all blank and yeah okay we got a lot more cookbooks in here we're not gonna go through these okay not not closely right it's not super exciting I know guys you probably like no more books okay next box oh more books Let's see what this one is the bottom's opening on that one too dang it okay it's like office. Oh, we got some binders, portfolios, briefcase type stuff. Quick in 2002. <laughs> Empty box. A little outdated on that. Using Excel 2000. Wow, cutting edge. Okay, recycle that. Let's see about these leather ones though. This is kind of nice actually. Empty. Yeah, empty, but it's still a nice leather briefcase there. There's another one. Okay, another really nice leather piece here. Look at that, they totally match too. Okay, this is a little organizer telephone directory, schedule, no money though. Next, another matching piece. No, oh, this one's really thrash though. I think that one might be on keeping. Another little organizer here. Let's see this. Oh, how sweet. Look at this. Birthday, get well, goodbye. They're all cards. They're all brand new cards. Look at that. 
We love finding cards. If you guys have been watching the videos for a while, you know that I talk about that, how much we love finding cards because cards are expensive. Maybe this one's not, but sometimes they're five, six dollars a piece and that adds up quick. Thinking of you, baby shower, good day, miscellaneous, sympathy, and birthday family. That one's empty. We'll put this aside. This is good auction stuff right there. Actually, I have a bunch of cards already set aside for the auction, so we'll add that to it. Filing labels. Filing labels. These are expensive brand new. This is Avery 5366 on those. That's These are expensive brand new. There's a bunch of brand new stuff right here. What do we have here? Some little pins. Mission Friends Leader Pins. $5. It's another pin. What's this? See some batteries. I'm sure those are those are too old. Uh, just some cheap little... <laughs> it's got a personalized advertisement from Pest Control Company. Just a little... They're cheap though. Plastic uh, flashlight. Oh, that's a nice pin. Look at that. It's like a bomber with the American flag on it. That I like. Put the pins in our keep box. Put that in our cell box. If you see, I got boxes here. Flea market box. This is for our auction. I got a garbage there. A recycle. I gotta just I just bring it in the backyard, throw it in the can. A place for you. And whatever that is. BYW. And then over here is where I'm putting donate. Got the bo uh, books right there. Christmas trees. I may donate those. I haven't decided yet. They don't sell for much in July. If this is October, November, I'd definitely be selling them. So there's another bomber pin. This one's all black. Another binder, another binder, another binder. Oh, what do we got here? We got some padded envelopes. This actually I will keep. Not keep, but I mean I will use these. These are the type of envelopes that I buy and use. So now we got some for free. What's this? A mailing box. Wow. $2.65 for one box. Oh, good lord. I'll keep that because I'll use it, but I don't pay that kind of money for a box. I'd go broke. Look at my garage right here. Boxes galore. Boxes. And you can't see it, but back there, there are some boxes and there's some bubble envelopes. Garage is super messy right now. It's been worse, actually. So I take that back. Boxes. Bubble envelopes. Envelopes. Boxes. 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 There's more boxes over there. There's boxes everywhere. And there's some boxes over there. And there's some boxes over here. <laughs> I got a lot of boxes. But I'm always up for saving more money. All right, so this box, no pun intended, is ready to go to the flea market. Okay, next box. Oh, man, it's starting to get a little warm out too. I don't want those records to be sitting out there too long. Okay, this looks like more, oh, yeah, more cookbooks. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Cookbooks. All right, so if you guys didn't see the last video on this, when I bought this, we paid $1,650 at an online auction. After the fees and everything, it winds up being, you know, another 10%. It's $1,815 total out the door. Uh, yeah, I have a little bit of investment in this one. So, but it looks pretty good because from the door, you can see all the Hummels. And we found proof that they're in the boxes. There's lots of boxes. Those are the first to get loaded. So they're going to be the last to come out, actually. They're in the towards the front of the van. So we're going through the other stuff, which was in the back of the locker. We're doing kind of reverse. These books and stuff and paperwork. This is all just going to get recycled here. This kind of stuff. What's this? Popular Science Homeowners Encyclopedias. Maybe I'll donate that. What's this? The Land of Hummel. Not this. I'm going to put this aside. This will go with the collector collection, right? Ooh, this is nice. $65 book. Whew, dang. Oh, this is nice. A little coffee table book. Look, it's even got like gold edges. That is pretty fancy. Pretty, pretty fancy. All right, this is cool. I could probably read this. I don't really know anything about Hummels. In fact, I said in the last video, I don't know if I've ever found a Hummel in all the years. If I did, I blew it out for cheap and didn't even know what it was. Okay, so that's going to be put aside. That's a little better. This old barn, that's cool. Yeah. Nice. Oh, this really, that's a cool book. That's a cool book right there. All right, guys, we're not going to go through all these books, but we will be donating them. Okay, next box. I know there's a records right there. I just kind of putting those off. I'm not looking forward to them. The records are just really heavy. All right, let's do this. Okay. Hmm. 
This one looks a little different. Uh, ooh, Elna, Swiss design right here. Instruction manual for a uh, um, sewing machine. That's good because I think I did see a sewing machine in there. I think we packed one. Definitely looked like one. It was in the case or cover. <laughs> look at this. Mop with a glove sewed onto it. Oh, even look at the ring. That's very clever. Very clever. It smells clean too. I don't think it was used. Candles. Home and tears and gifts. Oh, look at that. Little brass pieces. Okay. Oh, that's copper here. What's that for? Do you guys know what that's for? These little balls on the end. Um, oh, it's got a marble right there. It's copper pipe, marble glued on. Copper, and then little tiny, like, knobbies on the end. What is that for? I'm not sure. Oh, coasters. More coasters. These are actually kind of nice. They're ceramic or something with cork. They look brand new. What is this? Oh, this is actually getting to be a fun little box. Spode. Okay, some more coasters. Christmas rose. Yeah, those are cool. Ribbon. What's this? Mug mats. A spiced mug mat. Place warm tea or coffee mug on the mat to release the aromatic spice scent. Protects tabletop as well. It's more coasters. Oh, those actually do smell. <laughs> I'm going to stop putting things off starting tomorrow. Sow seeds of kindness to reap a crop of friends. There are no strangers here, only friends we haven't met. Those are cool. I'd say those aren't as cool as the other ones. If I'm rating all the coasters on the cool factors, all right. Oh, this is cool. Wait, I'm using... Okay, I may have exceeded my cool usage in this video. Try to find some other uh, words to describe. More cookbooks here. Perfect blend, second verse. I think this is probably put on by like a church. I'll put that with the books. The cookbooks. Now look at this. Two-piece guest towels. Got a little embroidery on here. They were $2.45, but I have no clue when that was. Here's napkins, eggshell. All right. Here's a little piece, but it's kind of stained up. Little skewers here. I don't know if that's for crafts or for eating. Foil lace dollies. Ooh. Doilies. Sorry, not dollies. Doilies. Foil lace doilies here. Okay. So what we've got here is some crafts. And that's great. We haven't had any crafts in our live auction in a while, but we love doing craft lots. We'll put together as many items as we can fit into a flat rate box. There's a paper lace doily, 10 inch diameter, party made. That's some vintage stuff here. Oh, it looks like it's disintegrating a little bit. What's that about? Because it looks good here. I don't know. We'll put it aside. That's good. Okay, what's in this guy here? I like this right here. Right? Okay. Doesn't look as interesting, but this is some American flag patches. Those are nice. Got a nice rock right there. I don't think there's anything special about it though, so that will go. Well, where do I put rocks? I'll put it in the backyard. Hey, we got some knives. Okay, the pest control. I wonder if this family was uh, owner of the pest control because we found quite a few little merchandise pieces already. Nail stuff here. All right. This is Tupperware here. All right, I kind of like that box. Hopefully, uh, not this one. Dang it. That was short lived. <laughs> well, hopefully, some of those other ones are more like that. I like that. What's this? The open gate. Yeah, it's a plate. Certificate of authenticity. The Bradford Exchange. Okay, that's cool. Open gate. Let's see what it looks like. Here's the back. $34.95 when it was new. Oh, Thomas Kincaid. Nature's Retreats by Thomas Kincaid. That's actually pretty neat. Thomas Kincaid raises the interest level as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that's. we'll probably get that in our live auction. That'll be an interesting addition. What do we got here? Cotton County Collection. Oh my goodness, more recipes. Recipes and reminiscences of New Orleans. Ooh, I like that. Loves me some New Orleans food. California Heartland Recipes. Best of the best from Alabama. Dixie Dining. Okay, now what's all this? What is this? Oh, someone's military stuff. Ooh, the Air Force Commendation Medal, 1967. So we've got a bunch of military paperwork here. Oh man, look at this birth certificate. It's beautiful. 1931, honorable discharge. These are like official documents too. They're not photocopies. Okay, that's a neat file right there. I'm going to have to see if they even have contact with the owner because they may not be able to contact anyone to come get the paperwork. All right, so this is kind of interesting here too. We, now we've got uh, something for a monument. Yeah, I don't know if those are examples. 
Mm -hmm, more examples. There we go. So this appears to be the owner's last name, and that's the guy. Oh, and that's the lady. Okay, so she didn't pass away when they made this. He passed away before in 2002. Father and grandfather, so there is some family. And this is just old paperwork here. Look at that. Marriage license. An old marriage license. Oh, 1955. Cool. 1955. Neat. Medical records. Poems and good articles. She was saving that. And a vacation to New Orleans. Oh, that's neat. We got some postcards. Yeah, that's cool. We'll put those aside. We do postcard lots in our auctions. What's this? Lockheed Advanced Development Company. Do not give away from the set. One complete set. What is this? Oh, hang on now. These are real photographs. Yeah, this is interesting. Okay, that's more of a flyer there. A pamphlet. That's a photograph right here. Fuji color paper. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh man, look at that. This that's tight. Stealth fighters. B A. So that is cool. All right, that might need to go into our auction because that's neat. I don't find that kind of stuff very often. I think there's got to be some collectors out there. What's this? S three Viking Mary Joes. Do not remove under penalty of Mary Jo. Uh, pictures do not give away. <laughs> Can we sell them? What is this? Pictures. Of what? She was in the military, or somebody was in the military. Dang, look at that. It's some kind of ex exhibit, exposition, or convention, or something. Wowza. That is neat. Lockheed private data to be open by address C only. There's no address C on it, so. What do we got? This sounds really interesting. Okay, we got a little American flag. Certificate of a completion. The F-117A, the first operational low observable fighter, made its first flight on June 1981. Today, after nine years of deliveries to the U.S. Air Force, we, the people who have built, maintained, and operated this outstanding aircraft, joined together to celebrate the occasion of this final U.S. Air Force delivery. 1990. This is pretty interesting. This is some history here. I like this. It's got something on a winery restaurant. It's like a table orientation. Ooh, what's this? Okay, more photos. Photos, photos. Lots and lots of photos. Oh, this stuff's pretty neat. There's a lot of these flyers now. Cool. Okay. Well, if we can find some stealth fighter collectors out there, then we've got some stuff here that maybe is a little rare. We'll auction it and find out. Okay, next box. Uh, more paperwork. Okay, I would have definitely have uh, recycled some of this stuff if I had seen it, but I didn't. I didn't get that deep in my digging, and my recycle bin got full pretty quick. So, F-117A news release. Some more stuff regarding the stealth fighters. Pictures to give away. Ooh, okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, got some stuff that she give to people. So it looks like maybe she kept the originals and wanted to give away some of the people in the that were interested or something. Looks like more stuff here. Copies of articles. Stealth fighter. Oh, this is cool. You're gonna have a nice lot. Pampered chef. Okay, so you know what? I think she may have been a pampered chef salesperson. I think that's like an MLM uh, structure. I might be wrong, but I think it is. There's some more Air Force certificates and stuff for the husband. Uh, he just kept all her retirement paper cards and stuff. So she retired. Must worked at Lockheed. Check stubs from Pampered Chef. Let's see how much she made. There's a check from January of 2005 for $84. There's one from November 04 for $60. September, $36. She wasn't cranking in the big money or nothing. July of 03, $158. Ooh, December of 02, it's 271. These are really dusty. Look at this one thing I found though. Keepsake diamond rings. Certificate of registration and guarantee. All right, so it looks like you bought it on 1950, March of 1955. 0.25, maybe it's a quarter carat. It wouldn't be a big diamond, but that's still kind of interesting. I'm going to put that aside. Oh, okay, next box. This one's got some oddity about it. It's lots of dust in there, but I see some patches. Really dusty. Really dirty. Let's bring the garbage can over for this one, because I think a lot's going to go straight in there. Another nice thing about working at home is I can run in the house and wash my hands off. Look at that. A Lockheed 
Advanced Development Company. It looks like some stickers. Lifetime guarantee on these scissors. What are these? Mundial. Mundial? Mundial? $37. This is, uh, this is probably expensive because that's bought a long time ago. I'd say that's probably bought in the 90s at least. Woohoo! Look at these patches. Dusty. All right. This is all from like Germany, I think. Italy. They collected patches when they traveled Europe, apparently. 1972, Munchen, Munchen, Frankfurt, and that's the Olympics too. That is super cool. Looks like it's a little moth-eaten though. This is good. This, this I like. Okay, I went ahead and grabbed a little bin for that because I see more patches in here too. I want to keep them all organized. Okay, what do we got here besides dust? Okay, a little sting. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> a little socket set, little tools, flea market. Wangs International, little beads. I think this is, uh, oh, it says pony beads right there. A little dusty, but that'll go in our craft lot. Dressmaker guide. Ooh, nice. Iron on mending tapes. Permanent press. More sewing stuff. Maybe we'll do a sewing lot or we'll just lot it all up for crafts. I don't know. Some elastic. It does. It's shot. The heat and the age isn't too far gone on that. A couple swatches of fabric here. Okay, now that is cool. That is so stinking cool. That's a stealth fighter patch. Wow. Ooh, this is good. Wiley e. Coyote. I think this is all military stuff. Oh, yes. This is great. We've had so many military patches in our auctions lately. This is more along those lines, but a lot of stealth fighter specific stuff. 44 50th tactical group. Another one of these. Nice. I'm just flicking the dirt off. There's quite a bit of dust. Yes. Look at that. That's sweet. Oh, yes. Pipe cleaners. We'll flea market that. Checkbook box, but what do we got? Eh, not checks. Something different. A little bit of sewing stuff. It's a nice little fit. It was a thimble. Thimble will go in the sewing or craft lot. That's old. Chalk refill. Spill proof. That's not too old. I don't think chalk goes bad. I don't know if this is good or not. I'm going to put that in the sewing box. Oh, man. Elastic band. I'm just not going to keep that. I just can't imagine it lasting through the time and the heat that was in this locker. I think it was in for quite a while. Look at this special project, Semper in Obscurus. Nice. Oh man, there's so many patches. Stealth Express, when it has to be there overnight. That's cool. Grim Reapers, these are some dope patches. Reaper Keeper, the Stealth Fighter. Lockheed Skunk Works, <laughs> that's neat. Air Refueling Group, oh, that's another decal. Maybe we should put those with the patches. I don't know. Okay, little snaps for uh, sewing. Another one of those. Here comes another one. Night Stalkers. Dang. A couple more of these. Special projects. These are more stickers right here. It's for a company. I don't think that's as interesting But this. Red Force Center. I don't know. Those will go in a sticker a lot, I think. Oh, yes. More. Team Stealth. Field Service. Aren't these cool? More. Jetta Tanker Task Force, Desert Shield 1990. That is really, really interesting. This is more elastic. Actually, this elastic feels pretty decent. That's some vintage looking stuff right there. Pipe cleaners, but I think that they're using them for projects. They're all dusty and gross though. Hmm, that's kind of nice, isn't it? Oh, and we have a lot more patches. Here's another sticker. It's a little bent up, but we can flatten that. Stealth Fighter. Replacement pockets, iron-on fabric. What are these? Oh, this is for embroidery or something? Iron-on patches. That's some vintage stuff right there. More patches, that's a cool one too. Red Eagles, dang. This looks okay, the elastic looks okay on this. I don't know, we'll put it in the auction, see what happens. You guys saw where it came from, so you be the judge if you think that that's gonna be something you can still use. Boy, that elastic feels pretty good though. Look at all this stuff. There's a bunch of, it's called strand floss. Okay, you know what? I just made a box up right here, a flat rate box. I'm just going to start putting this stuff right. Well, is this piece going there really? I don't know. That's more of a vintage piece, but I'm just going to start putting this stuff straight in here. This is all sewing stuff and we're going to sell it. So I'm going to put it straight in there and then we'll go straight in our auctions probably. There's some Singer sewing needles there. There's some Kenmore attachments. That looks nice. That's neat. 
nice little stickers. Safety pins. A couple more dried out paints. Safety is the key. That's funny. Put your key on there. All right, guys, we got a lot of stuff here. Potpourri oil, woodland pine, citrus grove, and rosebud. All right, guys, the rest of that box was sewing stuff. I know that's a big surprise and all. What's this one? That one's almost empty. Okay, what do we got here? Looks like some picture frames. Yeah, look at this. Picture frames, okay? And there's more paperwork here. GE refrigerator. <laughs> that should get uh, recycled, actually. Sprinkler timer. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, this stuff's not interesting. Let me just scan through here and see if there's anything interesting. We'll pull it out. Okay, this one empty. Oh, I think this was actually a paperwork box, and that's what I threw in the recycle. But I did find this Sacramento Home Loans. It's a big old bag. Uh, I think that's cool. I was gonna make a joke, say like, "Oh, there's a nice money bag." for the flea market, but I don't think I make that much at the flea market. <laughs> Alright, these light records. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we looked through these a little bit before. This is really, really some old stuff. Ray Price. Oh, Johnny Cash. Okay. Alright. Johnny Cash. Okay. We got some good stuff. Let's get these to you. Okay, now the question is going to be condition. Oh, those are nice. Besides me getting my fingerprint on it right now, but that's okay. Those are really, really nice. That one's really nice. Let's see what this. Uh, oh, beautiful, beautiful condition. That's excelente. The only thing that's the negative is the guy put his name on it. Oh, that's nice too. Yeah, all right. We love people that take care of their stuff. Pride and ownership. Elvis. Nice. Yes. All right. Hoo ah. Sweet. Cha-ching! Waza. I'm running out of words. I don't know what to say. Man, there's a lot of Elvis here. A lot, a lot of Elvis. This is all Elvis. This is more Elvis. Oh my goodness, there's so much Elvis. Is there duplicates? There might be some duplicates in there. The Letterman. Dr. Shivago. Simon Garfunkel's Greatest Hits. Barbara Streisand. Creedence Clearwater Revival, Bayou Country. Yeah, that one looks pretty all right, too. Maria Osmond. Oh, my goodness. Look at her. She's a complete baby right there. That's funny. Huh. Polka Party. Ray Charles. Okay, next box. Billy Vaughn. The Sundowners. Melodies in Gold. Billy Vaughn. Billy Vaughn, Blue Hawaii. Oh yeah, we looked at these already. All right, let me get through these. She has a lot of Billy Vaughn. I just pulled a few interesting ones out of that box. Charlie Rich's Greatest Hits, Trini Lopez, Greatest Hits. This is Walt Disney one, Mary Poppins. Thought that was kind of interesting. Jerry Lee Lewis, Flip Wilson, we saw that before. Inger, Engelbert Humperdinck, Ricky, Ricky Martin. This one's kind of, eh, that one's kind of falling out right there. Or I mean, Ricky Nelson, sorry. <laughs> That's what I meant. And that one's not in great condition. So I'm going to let that go to the flea market. Those boxes, maybe we'll do a second pass. Hawaii 5.0. I don't know if that's anything good at all, but... Uh, oh, it's the Ventures. Okay. I thought maybe it's from the TV show. All in the Family. Just, that's a little different, right? Those were the days, the theme. Uh, Glenn Miller. All right. Glenn Miller Band. It's pretty cool. Swing stuff. And then the button-down mind of Bob Newhart. So, very early Bob Newhart album. I thought that was neat. Okay. I don't really know what I'm doing with records. I don't know what's really valuable. I just pull out what I think is, uh, you know, good stuff or sometimes just what's recognizable and what I think is going to sell, really, in our auction. Oh, okay. It said records. Looks like we got, we do have some vinyls and then we have some school accounting. So we have some like accounting records too. <laughs> That's going to get recycled. Recycle. Man, can you believe how much paper goes into this stuff? All to get recycled. And more recycle. <laughs> Captain and Tennille, love will keep us together. Neil Sedeka. Neil Sedeka. Barry Manilow. <laughs> John Denver. Discotech. The Bee Gees. Oh yeah, that's that's the one right there. Sad Night Fever. Heck yeah. 
Carpenters, Chicago. I think we looked in this box. No, actually we didn't. Best of the Beach Boys, that's good. Yeah, Christopher Cross, Gary Punkett, Boss Gags. This is some good stuff right here. All right. Okay. It's old ice cream maker right there. Oh man, more books. Okay, a little bit of kitchen stuff. Attachments for something. More attachments for something. What are these? These are curious. Cool. Really large bowls here. That go to the flea market, but what about these though? Oh, man. I'll put those aside for now. Yes. Ooh. Oh, I I did peek in this one actually. I did forget that some of the stuff I saw okay this is really interesting it's also really dusty which is weird because I think there's a lid on it unless I put the lid on maybe the lid was floating around okay what are these some carved wood pieces more carved wood boy this is so dusty in here I don't know if you can see it on the camera but there's just like a layer of dirt on it appears to be a fruit basket Look at this. This is actually really, really interesting. Maybe I'm using that word interesting too much, but at least I didn't say cool. This one has a sticker on it, and it says, okay, made in the Philippines. But boy, look at this. Each of these is carved with a hole in it, and it's fastened onto this other stick. There's some work that goes into this. And then look at this. That's a neat looking piece right there. I don't know if this will go in our live auction though. I would love to put it in there, but the problem is going to be the shipping. So if you guys are interested in this particular piece right here, I don't know about value on this, but uh, if you're interested in this going into our auction, let me know and maybe I'll figure out how to get it in there. We'll probably do shipping additional. It's not terribly heavy. Oh, what does that say? Teak. Teak fruit bowl with fruit. So it's made out of teak. Oh, this is very interesting then. Maybe this does have some value. All right, I took all the books out of this one. Just took the books out. Find a couple of different things. This is a little travel book from Venice. And it says August 62 is handwritten on there. So I think it's 1962, which is just kind of neat. Put that aside. I like a little bit older stuff. Sistine Chapel, detailed guide, a little travel souvenir type stuff. Oh, what's this? Postcards. Fink Hummel calendar, 1972. All right, more Hummel stuff. Hummel collectors. Oh, there we go. Hummel calendar, 1972. And it doubles as postcards. Well, that's a little different. Okay, I'm just trying to shake all the dust off. So that's for our Hummel collectors. We'll put that aside since we have a Hummel book and some Hummel stuff. There's a little lace piece there. Again, very, very dusty. Put that with the crafts for now. And then what do we got here? Goble Collectors Club. Wait, I think one of our viewers commented and said they saw a Goble written on a box and they said that's just as collectible as Hummel. Hummel, exclusively for members of the Global Collectors Club, but that is Hummel. All right, I don't know if there's any value in these either, but we'll put those aside. We definitely have some fun stuff for any of you Hummel collectors. Okay, this box here, 100 of the world's most beautiful paintings book. That's pretty nice. What a year it was, 1956. This looks cool. Yeah. Oh, that's a neat book. Hmm. This is some National Geographics from 2010. All right, more from 2010. This is some old stuff. All about popcorn balls. So this is recipes that apparently she clipped out of newspapers, magazines, I don't know, combination, and put into a scrapbook. And okay, I've never seen that before. There's a lot of time went into that valuable mm, I don't know I don't think so but it might be interesting to somebody uh, this one's mostly empty and what's this hidden arbor I think this is another plate let's see if it's one of those Thomas Kincaid's again oh it is oh that's pretty cool there's a certificate of authenticity down there mm-hmm that's what we got Thomas Kincaid that's pretty good 1998 nice all right might be some value on these guys and we will be putting these in our live auction we'll lock those up put them all together i think the other one's down there 
Okay, and this old uh, ice cream, it's not that old, but it's a uh, rival ice cream maker in the wood bucket. Pretty cool. Put that aside. I think that'll just go to the flea market though. Okay, let me pull out some more stuff here. Boy, when we get a little bit more gone here, I can actually work in the van and maybe move stuff from one side to the other. The goal is put flea market stuff back in. So get the good stuff out, put the flea market back in, and then donation go on the truck. All right, here's a box of clothing. I think we got a brand new tagged Eileen Fisher in here. I seriously doubt it, but let's see what we got. Carolyn Taylor. Don't know Carolyn Taylor, but these are looking pretty fresh right here. Style and Company Sport, little velour sweat top and matching pants maybe? Nope, yep. That is super styling right there. That actually looks really comfortable. All right, here's another one. Jones, New York, signature woman. Another velour sweat suit pants and oh with tags this time this is a macy's it's got a return label on it but i don't know how much one x size one x uh -uh. i was trying to see how much it was but it's not letting me take that off but that's kind of nice it's got tags and it's jones new york so that's not too cheap right double x top one x pants okay here's another style and company sport this one's a teal green velour shirt this was brand new with tags again but i can't see the price on that either but we got the matching pants <laughs> matching pants how awesome is that one x all american comfort right here size one x very basic but we have also got the pants to go with it size one x three or four uh sets here maybe i'll lock these up and sell them in the live auction i don't really know haven't decided all right next box what do we got here okay oh that's kind of neat actually it's a, it's a hanging piece right oh it's got some broken butterflies on here broken hmm. they look like those before bird uh what do you put in here plants i think maybe a pot i think maybe you put a pot in there it was kind of neat but not neat enough not neat enough not going into our live auction those are going to the flea market file box yeah. files dang pampered chef stuff a whole bunch of uh pampered chef little instruction books or something for the products all right all right we'll just recycle this and donate the box okay here we got a little shelf thing yeah, what's in here okay a whole bunch of little clips what are those are those for shower curtains or something else i don't know That's some combs okay this piece will go to the market almost looks like a watercolor but i think these are prints yeah this stuff is just uh prints but i almost feel like this is maybe handwritten those are quite nice i don't know what to do with that just yet put it aside what's this stuff that's like cork oh those are postcards made out of something that looks like cork that's different what's this hieronymus another patch i'll put it up there with the patches got some more stuff in here what do we got oh yeah military military yeah that's it for that sweet more stickers for the stealth fighter photocopies of some articles on the stealth fighter we'll put that aside too we'll add that to our stealth fighter lot sergeant and company new haven what's that for i think it's for putting like rivets on Maybe buttons or for like sewing, maybe putting buttons for like jeans. Oh, Phase 10, one of our favorite games right here. Yes, sweet. Have you guys ever played Phase 10? It's one of my favorites. Taught Gianna that when we met. And now it's one of our family favorites. Kids love it. These cars look brand new. <laughs> awesome. Just bought a pack of these at Walmart uh, last week, actually. And they were not as good as the older ones. So this is a little bit older pack. They got cheap on us. A pack of cards. What's in here? Oh, okay. These are all vintage, vintage mechanical pencils right here. They all have this ball on the end. I like that. What is? How does that work? I'm not sure. Because a pa uh, on here it's got a patent number and it says something about Melrose. I don't know. These are vintage mechanical pencils right here, and these are somewhat collectible. I've just never seen them with this ball on the end right here, and it says Bell Systems. Uh, I really like this. All right, we'll put that aside for now. Those will go into an auction at some point. Ooh, then we like this right here. Parker. That's definitely what we're looking for. 
vintage Parker pen. Oh, 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 this is really nice. This is Parker there. I was just looking to see if maybe it's gold plated or something. This is a really, really nice fountain pen. Parker. I love the color. Definitely mid-century looking. This is a nice pen right here. And with the box and the instruction book and everything, this is a nice piece. That's, that is definitely going into our auction. Look at this. M souvenir of a cotton bale from Mississippi. There's cotton in there. Yeah, that's neat. Christmas ornaments, maybe? Let's see. Homco, made in Taiwan. Number 5251. There's another Homco, 5505 on that one. Another Homco. Is Homco collectible? I don't think I found those before. Another one. Homco. No sticker, but I know it is. These actually seem like they're kind of decent quality. Homco. Homco. Another Homco. Hmm. It seems like there's duplicates, unless they're all starting to look the same. This little Christmas tree. The Homco. I swear we've had that one. There's got to be more this. Okay, what's in the box right here? What are you doing? Hmm? She's over at the neighbor's house, trespassing. Okay, I took some uh, boxes down here so we can get to some more peeking, digging, and snooping. Okay. Oh, what's this? Mugs. They don't look cheap. There's two mugs, three, four. But this right here is... Oh, okay. This is this is something better, I think. It's got only a number 15 there. Let's find a piece that's going to distinguish what this is, identify what this is, rather. Uh, that's the lid for something, but I don't see the bowl in here. What I see are a ton of mugs. What the heck are these things? German, I think. This is nice. Next box. Oh, okay. These are carousels for that projector, okay? Let's see if the slides are in there or if they're just empty trays. Yeah, the slides are in here. This is kind of interesting. Wow, these carousels are in beautiful condition. Really nice. Venezia, this is, uh, 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 that's not supposed to be, the glue is coming apart in this. I think they're supposed to be glued shut. And the glue is maybe from the age or the heat, the glue is done. This is neat though because these are tourist ones. And it's just like those books that we found. Venezia. It's got, I don't know if you can see that at all. It's got a little painting on there. These, I think, are purchased as sets. And they're all tourist sites. Yeah, that's kind of neat. But the glue coming apart, that's not good. You'd have to go through and basically re-glue all those by hand. Ah, uh, that sounds like a nightmare to me. Okay. But what do we see? Venice, Florence, Concerta, Greece, Yugoslavia, Rome, Naples, Pompeii, Rome. Firenze, Capri, Rome, Pompeii, Pisa, Florence, Rome. These are all Italy. So these are all slides that have to do with Italy. Hmm, okay. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know right now. I'm going to have to just put those aside. Okay, what's this? Is this a computer? It looks pretty old if it is. It's a box for one, but let's see what's in here. No, this is something different. Okay, a couple of picture frames. It's got a little chip on there and that is like really too bad because that is really nice. Otherwise, it's a little mushroom carved out of some sort of stone. Designs exclusively for George. What do you think, Luna? You like it? You like that? Quack, 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 quack. Little salt and pepper shakers. These are nice. I mean, I'm assuming there's two. Yes, there is two. They're in good condition too. These are nice. I don't see a brand on those, but... All right, what else we got in here? Old wagon picture in a wagon frame. Another one. That doesn't look very interesting. An old water pick, an old, an old shower fixture here, and something that you think you breathe into. Uh, that's kind of gross. Okay, let's see. Glass cups. Heavy glass cups, too, I might add. Ooh, these are heavy. Those are pretty nice, too. We got a whole bunch of them. Oh, we have some matching plates too. Okay. No writing on it or anything to tell me what the maker is. 
Oh, this might be different. Goebel. This is from Germany here. Okay, now this might be better. Let me be careful with this. Okay, this does definitely feel nicer right here. But what is this? I don't know. They're bowls? Oh, is that what they are? They're soup bowls? I mean, you grab the side and drink it. Okay, Goebel. Look, well, you got some nice stuff. Okay, Goebel, here's some plates. There's a little dead silverfish. Whole bunch of plates, bowls, and all kinds of stuff. Let me go look one of these up. Okay, so this gold bowl, same company that makes the Hummels, right? So the collectibles. And, uh, but I couldn't really find very many comps on these. So I don't know if they're not as common or if there's just not enough value in these. We have a whole set right there. And some of these bowls are, are rather nice. Especially the soup bowls. I did find one of the soup bowls listed for 45 but it's really decorative. So, um, I don't know what to do with these guys. I'm going to put this aside for now. I got to be careful. I'm putting stuff aside, putting stuff aside. That aside stack gets out of control. I got to keep stuff flowing, moving, selling. And I can't slow down for much. But I don't know what to do right now. I'm just going to put it aside. Okay, kitchen and placemats in this one. So far, yes, yes. That's kind of nice though. Ooh. Huh. Beautiful wood. It's got the brass inlay there. It's got some cracking around the edges there. Oh, look at these. Made in Italy. Salt and pepper shakers. Those are a little nicer. <laughs> We've got some interesting stuff here. What's that? I don't know if that's anything. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds awfully nice, but this is just plastic. That's funny. Stuff's flying everywhere. Okay, there's some pampered chef pieces here. Is this one? No, that's Krupp's. The Open Master. Oh, that's actually neat. Whoa. Pro Star. Uh, Taiwan, but dang. Ooh, those are sharp. That must be for cutting poultry or something. What is this? A plastic knife. A pampered chef. This is like heck of sharp. Well, maybe it's not that sharp, but plastic. It's kind of sharp. Pampered chef there. Oh, this is a nice torch right here for creme brulee or whatnot. Aunt Jemima. Oh, I wonder if that's a collector's item right there. Teaspoons. Fondue forks. There's some vintage fondue forks. That's kind of neat. I guess that's going to do it, guys. I don't see anything else too terribly interesting. What do we got here? Gobel. Uh, this is probably for oil. Oh, maybe that's the oil for oil. That's what I would think. It seems like nice stuff, but this looks like it's to the gold bowl also. Probably to one of those bowls we have put aside. Do you guys know anything about this stuff? Let me know in the comments if you got any advice for me. I've never found this stuff before. The gold bowl mug. It seems like nicer stuff, but I didn't find any cards on it. Yeah, look at this. That's what that would go to right there. Is a butter dish or something? A butter tray? I don't know. This is nice. And here's a glass piece that matches those other glasses. Oh yeah, yeah. what do I do with all this? Okay, guys. Well, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it right there. I know I don't think we found that much interesting stuff, but we definitely found some interesting stuff. All that box right there. I'm putting aside to either go into our live auctions or to take a second look at. Got a craft box. We got a sewing box. Yeah. Okay. We got records. Actually, it is all starting to add up. I just haven't found like that big money like. Boom, exciting, you know, something amazing treasure. But it could be in here, right? It could be in here. I'm hoping some of those Hummels have some big value. And I don't know, there's another box of records right there. The best stuff I think is deep. I mean, it may not be, it may be good stuff right here, but I'm just saying like all those Hummel boxes are deep. I put all that stuff in first, so it's the deepest in there. And then, uh, well, I'm kind of making a mess here. This is gonna go to the donation if they take it all. And all this stuff's gotta get sorted out. Flea market and then some junk like uh, empty boxes and stuff. Garage sale or flea market. I gotta get through all this so I can fill the van up with flea market stuff, but I'm not worried about it. I'll do it. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for going on this adventure with me. Uh, this stuff's been waiting for me since I got back from vacation. And hey, I'm not sure if uh, the vacation video will be out before this or after this. We'll bring you along for the vacation. You can see where we stayed up in the mountains. It was cool. Also, you'll see me get my haircut. Uh, that was exciting. All right, and uh, that'll be out soon. That video will be out soon as well will the next one in this saga right here. Okay, but until then, Good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lockernets.
look at this. Pillsbury, this is really neat. Pillsbury Dough Company, a canister collection. Oh, from the Danbury Mint, no, no kidding, that is nice. Okay, year 2000, Danbury Mint. This is really nice, I like that a whole lot, a whole lot. 